Welcome back to another Wheel of Steam. Joined again by my good friend Patrick. Hello there, everybody. There he is. And uh, the wheel has told us to play the Turing Test. Uh, there's no, there, there's no title. I just yeah. realized there's no actual title here. It's it's nice that I already knew the title. I'm sure it'll tell <laughs> us at some point. But uh, for you, it's called the Turing Test. For those unaware, uh, the Turing test is referring to a real-life thing referred to as a Turing test, which is uh, an idea that if you can program an AI that is able to convince someone that they are human, that it passes the test. Yeah. Well, so, like, basically you have, a, a, you know, a locked room. You put a person in that locked room. You give them a computer. Yeah. And that computer, they think it's hooked up to a person, but it's actually hooked up to an AI, and then they're, they're having a conversation with it. The Turing test is... Does that person be, you know, believe that they're talking to a, a person? Or do mm-hmm. they think, something's off here. This is a computer, isn't it? Yes. You know, that's the Turing test. A, a renowned test for being pointless because the average person's like, I'm talking to a human being, and it's just a chatbot. <laughs> like, chatbox, chatbots regularly pass the Turing test. <laughs> a lot of your favorite, like, not Twitter under, accounts like, science, are just science, fucking robots. Not under, like, scientific conditions or anything. No, no, just uh, the, the casual Turing test. What's the name of the test that... Oh, no, I'm thinking of CAPTCHAs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the CAPTCHA test. No, that's I'm, a I'm good thinking, one. It's thinking of just, like, the tests that, you know, bra- run on browsers that just stop bots from clicking on things. Yeah, yeah. I think there is a name for it, though. I think so. I can't remember. Let's start the Turing test, Chris. All right, let me press my little beepity boop. New game. Let's go. Oh. All right, the Turing test begins now. Open your notebooks to page 234. Is my mouse just center screen? Oh, oh, no. It's oh, like blinking mouse. on and out of existence. Just move it to the side. It'll be fine. <laughs> the right side, not the left side. Yeah, yeah. How far on the right you want me to bring this? Oh, thing? I see. <laughs> it is trapped. It's trapped in the 1920 by 1080 window. You had oh, it there we go. It, it stopped being displayed. Okay. I'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> well, we got a lot of pretty colors. We've got the 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 Halo intro here, the Master Chief <laughs> intro. Wake it up from cryo sleep. Yep. <laughs> Your wake up has been sanctioned by the ISA. Well, thanks, robot friend. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. You don't say. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. I think this might be our first real like story game we've done for Wales Steam. Maybe. I wasn't aware if there was a big story going in. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. <gasps> it's Tom! <gasps> Hi, Tom! <laughs> hey there, Tom. That you report to the surface post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? Mm. The ground crew found an organism so the nice. ISA believed to be dangerous. Aliens. <gasps> we need to re-establish communication. Touch him again. Touch him. All right, so we know the plot. Nine days ago, you lost contact with a ground team sent to explore or something. And you're going to be sent to uh, figure out what the F is going on. Remember when I mapped A Yeah. as the jump button? Is that not a good thing? It's Y for some reason. <laughs> face button bottom. Y. Y. Otherwise known as face button top. You could go and reset the... Uh... Another fan. Oh, whatever. We'll just deal with it. Actually, you it's might want to make it just a little bit louder. I think I, think I uh, asked you... To go too far in the other direction. You can have to uh, alt tab for me real quick. <laughs> there we go. That's right there. You might have to at this point in your video rebalance the audio, but whatever. I believe it just records at uh, a default volume. Not when, you're, not when you're changing the individual windows sounds like that. Well, then you just ruined everything, Patrick. Yep. The main menu, menu was very loud. It's like whistling noises, and I'm like, if that's the ambient noise, everything's going to be super loud. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just quiet robot man. Oh, I could also turn on subtitles. Oh, that's a good point. I do like when subtitles are on yes. for uh, watching other people play games. It was there. It was on display? Bottom. Oh, yeah, there it is. Do, 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 Enabled. Do, do. I realized I didn't press the apply <laughs> button. Oh, right. <laughs> Enabled. Apply. There we go. All right. We got subtitles now. All right. Uh-huh, now, uh-huh. Uh, let us yep, know what the yep. secret message message means right here. Yeah, someone that's really good at this uh, to code that for me. All right, moving on. 
Although, I, I don't think that's actually... No, it was just a... Tom Touch OS. Um, Tom is everywhere <gasps> in this game. Oh, I don't want to touch Tom. That is mean. Tom is a delightful thing to touch. Mm, I'm scared. As long as we refer to him as a thing and not Let's a person, away. it's okay. I think the green arrow wants me to go in this room. Ah, uh, of Pick course. Up your EMT. Pick up your EMT. Don't tell me what to do, Tom. Fine, I'll do what you tell me to do. It's on the side. Oh my god, that text. We're playing the game at 4K. We're not playing the game at 1080, so that subtitle is going to be okay. super small. We are going to take a lander to Europa. <laughs> Make your way. Whatever. <laughs> it promised me the resolution was 1920 by 1080. I'm, uh, no, yeah, I guess it's just because we were in a borderless window. We can change it if you want, Chris. I don't care. No? You can just make it window and then stretch it in OBS. What? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Go from full screen window to regular window and then restretch it in oh, OBS. Oh, resize the thing, yeah. I'll leave that up to you. You, uh, you have an opinion. I mean, the subtitles are worthless at this point. You think they're going to be that small? Oh, no, yes. they are. Yeah. I mean, especially on the encoding. Uh, we're, we're talking a lot about, like, the video, and not a lot about the actual game here, but there's not a lot going on. whose fault is that? <laughs> I know it's my fault, but there's not a lot going on. We just we're going down a ladder. Up. Going down a ladder? It's very pretty. I'm trying to go as quick as I can and get to some content. My name is Ava. Let's talk about things we'll never see. Is she a robot? Is that why it's called the Turing Test? Mm. Or is there going to be another thing that we're trying to determine whether or not it's a sentient... Your feet? No feet. Just, just hands that just swing hands. in. Just floating hands. I guess then you are a robot because you're just, you're just like a, a ball with hands atta I mean, attached to it. You like could just uh, program me to believe I'm seeing my hands. I guess. Nothing. Nothing. Something. I guess a green one. <laughs> Get in there. You're very trusting of this robot. Like you're you're woken up from some sort of cryo sleep. You're like, oh man, I gotta really take a piss. All right, well I guess we're taking the Europa lander. I mean, just like real life, if Tom tells me to do something, I just do what Tom tells me to do. <laughs> Retro. Go. Fido. <laughs> Fido. Ruff. Guidance. Bark. Go. Control. Bark. Go. Telcom. Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. So. <laughs> and it explodes. <laughs> Tom just laughs. Now I am king. I was gonna say, Engaging this is a gas giant. There's not gonna be anyone here. But I guess they are on Europa. Yeah, we're going to. Uh, the I thought moon. that was the name of the lander, though, Europa Lander. But I guess it's the lander for Europa. I guess. Oh, 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 oh God. <laughs> a lot of things are happening that are bleaky. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Look away. <laughs> the sp the spastic nature of the cockpit. It's not working right. I, I don't imagine this is how it's supposed to look. All the settings are on ultra. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's the settings. I think it's just like... You know what this looks like? It looks like a V-Sync issue. Like, the game's trying to calculate it in, in the wrong position. Uh, <laughs> See, we're gonna have a jumping puzzle immediately. With that cliff up ahead? Question is, is it physics-based, or do you just climb? Let's find out. Maybe. Oh, oh god, oh please, I just want to not be in this shaky thing anymore. I know, we just had a game that was all shaky. Welcome to Europa. Thanks. When you're in control it works fine. It's the cutscenes that things get a little bit uh wonky. <laughs> Maybe it's an issue with my control uh my control with my computer because uh there was a chandelier in Resident Evil 4 that was just freaking out <laughs> during a cutscene. But just the chandelier. So like what, a physics engine or something? Resident Evil 4 know. though is a port though, so I don't imagine it would have physics enabled stuff that no, would work I doubt with the PC. So I don't think it's your graphics card. Maybe my I graphics think it's, card is just, just dusty and needs to be cleaned out. Were you playing Resident Evil 4 on uh, on VSync or on a, on a windowed resolution? Uh, full screen, I believe. Hmm. Do do do. Oh, I don't just... know. Oh. <laughs> There, there was an option for for streaming loading. Well, that's true. We we have that disabled. Do you think it would load it would, in yeah, the background? Yeah, it, it, it would make this streaming loading. Why why is that disabled by default? <laughs> I don't know. Because your so your crap quick. computer can't handle the game in its magnificent glory. I'm on ultra. It it defaulted to ultra. <laughs> it decided my computer was good enough for ultra. 
It decided. This is some real good gameplay. content. Gameplay. Hope everyone's enjoying watching me go into the menu. turn around. Well, they lock the doors. So. Ah. Can't shoot your gun. The base has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Theater Macula. Dead Space Battery. Yep. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. The base was built initially by machines. What's in the door in there? Oh. I served as the oh, mind of these operations. <gasps> I arrived first on Europa. I want doors that I have to shoot to open. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support. So I'm a robot. Especially You're telling me I'm a robot. From Earth. So... Robotics. You gotta suck it up. It won't let me. I wonder why the ground gun? team has changed these rooms. Yeah. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? So I think I need to Turing plug it in are tests before I can we'll go back. And machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable mm -hmm. by a human. Let's see what's up here. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So you can't. Maybe there's something worth me. No. Key and access again to the box. That is why I am glad you are here to help. So I gotta we put the charge in to there. Work together. Oh, can I just put it <laughs> through here? Just put it through the window. God damn. <laughs> oh, grab it. Alright, I can definitely see this uh, being, you know, portal esque. You've got, uh, you know, spoilers <clears throat> on a game that's been out for like 12 years. Yeah, seriously. Uh, so I can see this being sort of like, you know, GLaDOS is Tom. Testing you, and you're yeah. the uh, you're the experiment. You're you're here to see if uh, you can pass these Turing tests, which are just moving boxes into they really wall sockets. This is not very uh, Turing testy. So far, yeah, it's just. Uh... So what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. They have converted <laughs> <That's what's> them <laughs> beyond recognition. Well, good point. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. <sighs> I Although I'm curious, I'm curious what was up there now. <laughs> we well, gotta flip the switch again. And open the upper door. Oh, it's not even a door, it's like a... Oh, it is a door. It is a door. It was open before. That's been happening in Alien a lot, too. I, I don't oh. know how I feel about games where... Press X. Now... Move the control stick in a counterclockwise like motion. Just like <laughs> let me press X once. There's a lot on. of that in Alien Isolation. Like you open a door and it's like you gotta you gotta put your wrench on the door. You gotta rotate it, yep. you know, 180 degrees, and then you've gotta like get some some leverage on there and really give it a nice little twist. And all the hacking mechanisms are like, I know why they're doing it. If you're like in a stressful situation, not being a hundred percent sure what you're going to have to do in a second or like making you mess up a little bit mm -hmm. adds to the stress it, it freaks you out a little bit more you can suck it from a distance yep this is a really bad during test i bet you someone you could write a program to solve these tests the crew yeah. are deeper inside the base it seems and not a, not a program that just like goes through the motions the i'm afraid not i am working to regain control hmm. Though I Go once upstairs. had complete control of this base, a lot of Just thinking about the future. The five hundred hours. Yep. Oh, well, go suck it up now. I can't reach it. <laughs> Trying to cheese it. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> I did it. Door is open. Are, are there any holes, like in the glass? I'm just waiting for the moment when you get a portal gun. I, I just... That's gonna happen. I don't know if you're gonna get a portal gun. Can you t So you can take that out of the wall, but there's nothing really you can do with it. Yeah. Or is there? No. <laughs> get back in there. Look up in that room. Not in this room. There's just a camera. Can you shoot the ball at the camera? Is that like an achievement? Oh, I hope so. That was one of my uh, favorites in Portal. It was destroying all the... Uh... Nope, can't shoot it. 
destroying uh, all the GLaDOS's cameras. I mean, yeah. it's, it's an actual achievement, too. It is, it is. All right. We need to get the ball of light there, but we need to physically move our body through there. Can you grab the box and smash it through the window, or grab the, the light in the corner of the room and smash it through the window? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Is there anything down the hallway? Nope, that's just a uh, lose your item room. Yep, we're all familiar with that from Portal. Alright, so we need... That open. Hmm... Hmm. <laughs> and this is an orb has to go there, not a box, an orb. How do we get that? All right. Get well, I have a question. What's your question? Take the orb, put it in your gun, down the hallway. Now, walk up to the well, no, walk up to the panel. Take that out. I can't. Are you sure? Yes. Press X on it. Okay, well, what happens if you grab... Oh, you can't grab the other... No, 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 take it out. I, I can't. I can take out the No, orb. go to the box. Take out the box. Can you shoot that into the box? There we there go. go. I thought they were different receptacles. Yeah, that's what I wanted you to test. So now you can just grab it from a distance. Yep, now it's easy peasy. Because it, it honestly looked like you couldn't do that. So yeah, they had different shapes. You, it's not even that. It's just that it, it looked like it was full with a box. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, box. when you put the red box in, it looked like it still had a box in it. <laughs> well, I had to know if I'd right. die or something. <laughs> what did he say that thing was for? I wasn't paying attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it lets me, like, jump. No, no, I think it's, like, taking a shape. So, I think if you press the panel, it's going to take the shape of a cylinder. Mm. And then maybe allow you to jump. Oh, I see. Just a magnet. <laughs> Try to hold it while it's being magnetized. Oh. Ooh. Take that, magnet. Yeah, like, look at those two boxes on the walls. Like, it looks like... Yeah, it shouldn't be able to fit in it there. It shouldn't be able to fit in there, but I guess... I don't know. No, it, it, it really shouldn't be able to fit in there. Look how big this is. I guess I guess the thing is that that's not a, a solid piece of red box. It's, it's just... It slides into it, but it doesn't look like that. Yeah. No. Whatever, we figured it out. Oh, don't walk up the ladder like that. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you can. Just suck him up. Oh, but I can't take it through here. Nope. I know how you do this, by the way. Oh, go on. <laughs> so you've got to you've got to uh, go back to where you were. Yeah, go back. And you've got to uh, deposit the orb in the box and bring the empty box with you. Mmm. So you got to just like suck it out, put it in. Can't. Can't. Has that little protector on it. Okay. Well then, in that case. <sighs> um maybe if you hold the box, you can throw another one into the box. Take the box with you. Read it off. Take the box with you and let's go back. Let's see what happens when you when you move this through the the, the wall of light. Can't oh, jeez. I hate these arbitrary things. I mean, it's this thing. Yeah, has a yeah. Restricted area written on it. It's pretty clear. All right, I won't well, give him guff for that. All right. Well, so we've got to do something with that room, with all the the orbs. With the two orbs. The two orbs and the twenty-five empty receptacles. And our one hint of maybe we can't do anything with this room yet. Maybe we can't do anything with this yet. Oh, you know what? Just no, turn around. I wonder if you can put these in a position where you open the door. Oh, I can hold multiple orbs. Up to three. Like, I'm curious if this is like a combination puzzle. Mm. And so you got to put them in the door. Like, I don't know, look up, look at a wall or something. Maybe there's a hint. 
Mm, no? It doesn't seem like it. And you definitely can't send those out. All right, well, uh, like, is this just not the direction we're supposed to go in or something? I didn't see another option, was there? No, this is... This is correct. Well, we need to figure out this puzzle. Oh, um, maybe there, maybe that control panel. Maybe there's something else you can do with it. No, that's it. Yeah, that's all. Oh wait. Ha! <laughs> We're dumb. Aha! This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. Mm -hmm. I expect they mm -hmm. have their reasons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Likely story. Whatever you say, Tom. Nope, 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 nope. No, go back, go back. Just, just curious. No, go back and flip that switch now. That's uh, not a switch. <laughs> what the fuck is Patrick talking <laughs> about? I thought it was a switch. Oh. So you need to find one more. Probably through that wall door behind you. Or is that the most... No, that's the door you came in from. Yeah. Oh, my God. Get your head in the game. I see. I Easy. see. I see. I didn't see that grate there on the wall. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind. Two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master mm. running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, <laughs> all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. So the one down here is crazy! I continued to learn on the satellite, and I continued to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. Except, would that actually happen? On a computer? <laughs> Doubtful. Like, the computer would just be like, okay, loading data. Fixed. <laughs> Alright. I need two there in order to get out of this place. Which is easy. I'm just, I'm just letting you do it <laughs> at this point. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast <laughs> for you, Patrick. Oh, yes. All right. This should lower it. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Yeah, this was easier than the <laughs> previous puzzles. I am willing to bet, though, that that thing is like a uh, that this room that we couldn't do anything center. with was a. Uh, you can check on the crew status from here. A lock of some sort. Yeah. Ashiyama, or something. Touch here. Touching. Hold it. Press it. <laughs> Leave and come back later. Lost signal. That guy's really happy. Real psyched to be here. All right, so developer, developer, Out outstanding, developer, outstanding tasks. Keep calm. And that guy who's there twice. Is he the same guy? With a different hair hairstyle. Oh, they're they're twins. Daniel McLean, Chris McLean, mm. McLean. And then a character that's going to show up in the game, and a character that's going to show up in the game. Like, wait, I'm I'm this one, aren't I? Yeah, Ava Turing. Yeah. So that's a character that might show up. There's the panels on the left on the wall. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Looking at stuff. Okay. I wanted you to look at the panel. The panel. The, the panel. four the computer monitors on the left there. Reactor is stable. Medicine. You got sh sh stuff in storage. Uh, consumable, you got a lot of meals. Yeah, yeah. 
Bless you. An environment hey. is acceptable. <gasps> we only have 18 ice cream sandwiches left. <gasps> no. This is a fucking nightmare. At least we got plenty of potatoes. I can't ice cream sandwich a potato. <laughs> All right. All right. Why are you letting me do this game? Is that a boombox? It's a boombox. Maybe you gotta put it somewhere as a switch button. I can't leave with it. Oh, okay. It's just letting me do this. <laughs> Thank God. I, I guess at some point you're gonna be uh, fiddling with stuff. You can't do anything with that, that uh, touch here. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm still a little bit confused about that. Was there another panel on this circle? I'm touching! Only a human can touch it. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. And this is their subtle way of letting you know that you're not a human. Mm hmm I like that. There you go, more more data for you. Oh, we you gotta press X. Huh? Oh. Oh. Case. Why are you letting me fucking do this? Cancel, cancel, cancel. Those are like shipments. Yeah. So after a certain date, everything just gets canceled forever. Yeah, a couple were canceled, and then June 2050, everything was canceled. So you've been here for years. Seems that way. You're kind of spoiling the game a little bit with this. They give, they're giving out a lot of information here. Yeah. Now, repeating pattern, repeating pattern. I was curious if it was reacting to my movement, which would be another, like, you're a fucking robot. <laughs> you're a robot. Audio logs. Stop. Stop recording. I am always recording. No subtitles. Today is January That's great. The my wife Loud music. Said it's mm -hmm. on Here we are, members of the human race. All right. <laughs> Don't care. We're playing this for an hour. We're not doing like a, a full story. That's run. true. That's true. I mean, I might, I might do this. At some... Oh my god. I thought. Oh, well, maybe it'll do it now. It is loading a lot faster. Although anyway. maybe, maybe it'll start streaming loading now that we've done it once. What condition should mm, I expect point. to find the ground crew in? Well, maybe if we start the game. Missing days ago. Chris is presumed Chris dead. Is no! We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Mikhail. He was involved in an accident. Accident. Don't sound too ominous there, he robot. He was involved in an accident. Oh, Tom, he died because he's a weak, pathetic human. Just gotta suck up the orb, right? Yeah, seems that way. Through the door. Give it here, Malfoil. Blech. And now where's the other orb? Right suck here. Suck it up. Now you can just suck it up. Can I? Yes. Can't get out now. No, you suck it up through the door. You didn't need to move it though. You just gotta slurp it up. Blech. Anyway, yeah, I might, I might do this for a happy little pixels one, one day. That was weird. Can, we can have a little bit of a reboot there. The yeah. Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is bedded under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Space Similar radiation. Mars base. Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper. Did not you know all this? There is more radiation. Hey, I'm a new AI here. here. <laughs> but Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. What am I seeing there? A reflection of the square in the wall. The holding one. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's just showing me a reflection just, of something yeah. that doesn't exist is yeah, why I'm like, what the fuck? That's a little strange. I'm a noticing that bit. too. It shouldn't be reflecting the UI elements. Yeah. Alright. Oh god, lazy game devs. Oh, can't get anything <laughs> right. <laughs> Not this way. I was wondering if it would destroy my box. Can you suck out of the box? No. Because, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, every time it says X on front, I can't what about suck the back? it at. Can you look at the back of the box? Well, I'm thinking that there's another, like, you can interact with the box from up here thing. Oh, yeah. Another sucky up. Nope, there it is over there. Well, I should put it 
Maybe. on track. Uh, yeah, it's not in, not in place. Just toss this magical box around. Hey, I know I'm playing a video game. So she's going to do it like I would <laughs> if I knew I was in a video game. <laughs> I love abusing the box. Ow! Don't break it. Where am I supposed to be putting this box? Middle. Yep, right there. Oh, well, I guess... Oh, I remember. Shit. Oh, okay, but you can do it from the other side. <laughs> so dark all of a sudden. <laughs> I hate games that do that. I mean, it makes sense. It's the, uh, the, f the campfire effect. Yeah, it's it's on the the far side. So from the middle there, you can go to the uh, go around and grab it. I think. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. This one doesn't have one. What the hell? Now I'm quite confused. Mm, quite yes. Climb the ladder. Well, what you can do is you can just grab the. Oh wait, you can't grab the box. Oh yeah, you can. You can just grab the box, put it in that door, and see what's on the other side of the door. Give it. Hey, another box. Got a this box. one is the one you gotta suck up with the uh, the magnet. Here we go. Oh, the walking up the stairs animation. Yeah, a little bit nauseating. A little bit, a little bit janky. As the person playing, oh, another one of those weird rebooty things. Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen. They only have nine ice cream sandwiches. sandwiches. Holy shit, Tom, we gotta get to these people. <laughs> but there was 18 a minute ago. They're binging them. They know they're gonna die. All they're eating is ice cream sandwiches. They're gonna get diabetes. <laughs> we gotta get to them fast. It's not a healthy diet. I can't control them. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The true members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. Ha ha ha. As short as they may be, because I'm a killer robot, <laughs> don't you see? Yes. As the person driving, I will say at this juncture, I am rather enjoying the game. It handles very well. Yeah. Uh, so far, the puzzles have not been like... I fucking hate this game. I can't figure it out. It's been, you know, spent a few minutes, and you, you, you pick it up. You figure out what's this, going on. This is like level two, though. Yeah, I imagine it's going to get harder. And as the person watching, it seems like a nice little puzzle game. Yeah. Oh, it's a take an orb moment here. You can take that orb, too. I think you gotta throw it into. No, I think you gotta throw it into the uh, the the magnet. There might be a hole in the magnet for it, and you gotta toss an orb into it. Yeah, mm, there it is. I will need that in order to get. Uh, no, do the one on the door. Oh. Hey, I'm planning here. We'll see. How do you get back up, though? What the oh, okay, there's the ladder. We're gonna die down here. It's like Tom, I'm stuck. Oh, I hit the button twice. <laughs> Tom, help Tom. Tom. I really just want to. No, you no, you need that. Cause you gotta drop it on the stairs. Yep. Just curious. There you go. Whoa, where's the control for it though? This controls. It's so on the far side, on the left. Nope, go left. Nope, go left. Nope. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. When you say go left, my body oh, sorry, is I what I move. Go left with the uh, yeah. the uh, <laughs> bridge. There you go. Perfect. Blech. Jump grab. There we go. <laughs> God. 
How come you're not magnetized to it? I mean, I might be a synthetic android. Also, do we know it's... it's uh, uh, There we go. Do we know that uh, these boxes are even fucking made of metal? Is this a magnet that I was using? Might be something else. the ISA's feet. In other words, you're a god here. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions <laughs> instantaneously about the running of the base. I've decided to test you all. I'm just like that GLaDOS person. <laughs> Wait. This doesn't help me. Yeah, it does. Left. Down. Oh, look at that. Couldn't even see it. It was in the dark. There's another one on the wall upstairs. Cat in the dark, and who's to blame? Chris is playing this bad game. No, it's not a bad game, but I just had a rhyme. Cat <laughs> had to I, go with a rhyme. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Is. I'm liking it, though. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Reminds me a lot of, uh, you know, Portal Antichamber. Talos Principle. Mm -hmm. Never played that one. Neither have I. <laughs> Alright. I still know about it. That's all that matters. Let's go in. Doo -doo. <laughs> Just walking through this base with the crazy computer talking oh. to me. Oh, why the long walk? So you gotta have both of the, the balls up there. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, you can just walk down and deposit the box. Right here. That's the problem right there. No, no, just go upstairs, grab the box, bring it down, swap it. Good point. <laughs> Pretty easy. You make an excellent point. <laughs> When the puzzle's laid out before me, I can get it. When it's like, oh, I don't know what to do. It's got when all I'm these, just like, like cruising. Yeah, when you're on the cruise control, I can't keep up. Oh, that's right. You can do both at the same time. I like being able to hold the charges. Oh, resetting. Just checking. Is that how many puzzles we've done so far? That is correct. How does the, the question is, know are the, the those all the puzzles? Here? Yeah, they yeah. can't communicate with us. Interesting. I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. His name is Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. Mm -hmm. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth, running at all times to check my expert systems. Now, expert systems? Super as any expert modern systems. artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer. I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. So I've been evolving myself to be However, evil. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use. I have activated <laughs> them. <laughs> Why is that? They're the only my ones I use now. You need the, the sucker ball results. to get replace this first. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. Hmm. <laughs> No, you gotta. I think you gotta. Yeah, put a sucker ball in there instead. Yeah. But you need the 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 window to be open. So you gotta flip the switch. <laughs> Dang it! Different sucker ball, I guess. All right. Now you've locked the... Oh, no, wait, the, the the block was already locked. So I guess just open these doors and we'll see what happens. Ah, there you go. Can't get to that one, though. Hmm. No, but this is good. You need, you need to go down the stairs. You need to grab the box. Now you can get the sucker ball correctly in the other room. Or not the sucker ball, but like you can you can flip the switch now. Grab the sucker ball on the wall behind you. Yep. Toss that in the wall. Flip the switch. 
take the box out of the wall, walk back through the door, and then you can sucker ball it back. Don't they flip my switch, does it? Nope, grab that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now you got all the pieces on this side. Okay, I go back up there. Not you. Ooh, this one only takes sucker balls. Hmm. Well, what's... I guess you only have one. One sucker ball. Sucker ball! Alright. <laughs> Don't need this anymore. So that's open. You gotta put the, the sucker ball down there in that wall socket. Because then you can suck it up from here and you can carry the box with you to that upper door. The logic puzzle's like this. That's what I'm good at. Like, oh, you gotta do, you gotta just gotta do it in this order. You're very much a on the fly sort of guy. Yeah, I usually try and figure it out as I go, and then if I can't, I stop and start doing the more appropriate. Let's figure this out. Want to give it a go? Nah, I'm good. <sighs> okay. Another secret door? A checkpoint system? Or is it the same door? Oh, the walking. Timed. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think I got this. One? It's gonna be like primes or something. So that's the longest, is one. Try it. Go, go, go. Maybe we go too fast. Oh, wait. It's based, based on movement? Yeah. Oh. I thought it was like the number of times it was beeping was a code. Oh, no, no. It's just uh, how fast I'm moving. Oh. Well, then. Lore. Oh. I feel like we got to a, a place that's special. Yeah, lore room. Shall we have a polite Ooh, here's that Turing test. Sure. I think you're a robot. You're not making any sense. You're a robot. <laughs> you to see if I'm a robot, it is to see if you are. What if the Turing test is to see if you are capable <laughs> of testing others? But you're the robot, not me. Stop calling me a robot. I'm human. Simply not convince you're a human? I think you might be a robot. <laughs> I get it. You think I'm a robot. You seem like a robot to me. Your responses seem predefined. And I simply do not care. That seems like... That seems like a human response. Have an emotion about it. Definitely a robot. You're definitely annoying. I'm not in control. I'm a drone. Yes, you are. I'm a robot. Now you're getting it. Control of my programming. I have no free will. Whatever keys are pressed, it makes no difference. <laughs> I guess you're done with the test. I so desperately want to whatever keys are... Huh. What was that last one? Oh, I didn't see. It went by too quick. Oh, no. Well, thankfully we have a, a recording we can refer to. I'm never going to watch this. You lived it. I'll probably play this is what's going to happen. So there was definitely a uh, a puzzle in that one room earlier that we just couldn't get to. You're going to have to deposit it to get through the door anyways. Yeah, yeah so there was definitely a, a puzzle in the room with the 25 blocks and the two mm -hmm. lights. Did the ISA build you Definitely. Down? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority of New this thing. I was designed by the ISA. Inverter. The Hashiyama Corporation. Yep. Designed in California. Assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. And I did not follow protocols. I am clearly the villain. No, no, my orb. That's dangerous, just destroying the orb in have your you gun. Have you heard of the Turing test, Avery? 
It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations, one with a machine and one with another human. I guess you just go grab it. They yeah. then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine and which is with a human. There you go. Do you think you passed the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation, <gasps> wouldn't you say? There's only one right answer. Don't make me angry. But what happens when you're not polite? I'm capable of many rude conversations. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to go grab one of those boxes and bring it back. I think you're right. This also reminds me of uh, a bit about Soma. I haven't played Soma, but I really want to. Well, if you like these types of, uh, of, <sighs> what's the word? Not... Philosophical. Yeah, philosophical questions. Isn't what does it mean to be alive? All right, so this box, the problem's going to be the bridge goes away, but this bridge turns on. What you need is you need the ball here, because then if you look to your mm. left, up the stairs, you can just suck the ball up and then continue on your way. Yep. But you gotta go get the ball back. If it was a ball, I don't remember if it was a ball or a box. I feel like I shot a ball. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Huh. Let's see what's over here. This is where you came from. Just making you sure. need the ball. Just making sure. I really don't understand what the point of that this uh, walkway is, though. That's why I was like, huh. Because you can just fall down here and go on your merry way. <laughs> Shut. Up the ladder. <laughs> so you think you're going to play this? I might. Unless you want to play it. No, I'm good. You, were you thinking about uh, doing it for the channel or for yourself? I don't know. Might do it for the channel. Might make a happy little pixels out of it. Just pick up where I left off here. Because I'm liking where the story's going. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you need, you need, oh shit. No. <laughs> what? 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 What's going on? Nah, I think, I think you're still fine. To be honest, I forgot what I was doing. Okay, go up the stairs, <laughs> deposit it, turn around, go that way, go up those stairs, fall down, suck it up, go up the stairs. Yep, left. Suck it. Suck that up. I'm sorry with the suck. I really just don't understand what this platform is for. You seemingly don't need it at all. I think that's part of the uh, the puzzle. Just having extra things that you're like, oh, this has to be important. Yeah, like useless elements. Red herrings. Interesting. <laughs> Error. The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim mm. it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? And oh yeah, of course. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room, we have is dialogue an instruction to go through. book written in English. Yeah. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. Run. By doing so, you have a conversation run. in Chinese. No, in but it's Chinese got a battery, so you gotta suck it and the then run. The you pass back through the door are the correct responses. I just the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese. Trying to figure out what timing's gonna be for. Well, if they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. 
but the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. Mm. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? Are you running? All oh, right, there's a run button. <laughs> As indicated by the joystick button on the middle of the screen, that yeah. probably to the viewers just looks like a little black dot. I also wasn't sure what the fuck I was looking at. And jump. Oh, we're gonna just destroy another orb. I may Go be an orb. orb. But I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. Mm. Oh no, I'm actually a computer. Way to tip your hand there, Tom. All right, where are you gonna have to put the suck ball? Just, I see. Just immediately start moving stuff around. Don't think, act, Chris way. Shit, acting was the wrong way to do it. You are not a good computer. Oh, this actually worked out fine. I'm so interested in it, I don't really wanna wanna talk too much about it. Like what's going on with the story? Yeah, I just wanna like Experience keep going. it. Yeah, that's a sign of a good game, to be honest. <gasps> Suck power! You gotta swip switch them around. No! <laughs> <laughs> God why? You bastard. I think I've had some pretty good luck on your, uh, your real esteem show. Seems like all the games we've been playing are uh, pretty decent. Yeah, that's been true for a lot of them. I'm kind of surprised. This one in particular, like I've heard this about this game, but I haven't seen anything about it yet. Yeah. It's abandoned. Uh, abandoned for the past like 22 years. Skeletons? Skeletons? Skeletors? No, no skeleton on. I, I see a mouse. Desk. I was trying to find like a bed with just a desiccated corpse on it. It's one of the twins' rooms. Yep, it does have a picture of the twin. Next door. That one has a sign on it. Oh, it's the bathroom. <laughs> I do not need for so many cameras. Oh, do not see the need. <laughs> Tom's presence everywhere is slightly oppressive. I understand the need for transparency, but why is he in the toilets? Hey, even in the Big Brother house, there were no cameras in the toilets. Exactly. Here's Chris's room. <gasps> it's your room. Oh. Tom Touch OS. Uh oh. Someone had a falling out with Dan or Chris. Or Tom. Punch the mic again. <laughs> you love punching the microphone. Well, now you're just <laughs> kicking the microphone. The microphone being headphones. Your stupid, like, really crappy splitter that you just breathe on it and it just starts glitching out the audio. Yep. Real quality stuff. Quality schmality. Christopher had a bit of a drinking problem. I mean, you don't have to have a drinking problem to have a flask. That's true. If anything, that's a drinking solution. <laughs> problem is, I need more drinks. Rylusol. Is that 50 real? milligram tablets. I'm. Did you think I'm like a fucking pharmacy here? I don't know every name of every fucking prescription. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at my prescriptions. I know mine. No, nothing here that indicates what it is. 
Yeah. It's looking for the side effects list, but there is none listed. Usually there should be like, you know, don't go driving heavy machines. Hmm. We're going to find your room? I'm hoping. Hey, another boom box. Boom, boom box. Pick up each individual pencil. So she's very OCD. Is that what we're getting out of this? Maybe. Everything's all neat and tidy. But then why does she have a dog? Dear do dogs are tidy. Knowing that you're always watching, I thought I would write you a letter. As you no longer reside in my mind, I've decided to transfer my thoughts to text. I want to do so in the form of a history lesson. A lesson that perhaps you'll find condescending, but it's likely more for my sake than yours. Alan Turing to disparate fields. Oh, God. In conclusion, <laughs> if we conclude that we are all machines, we only came to this conclusion in a predetermined manner. We cannot claim credit for our discovery, as it is just a product of nature's genius, not our own. Humbling idea, I think. Behaviorism. Maybe we are more similar than we think. Sarah. All right, for people that want to pause and read everything, <laughs> here you go. All the text for you. All right, moving on. All right, so she knows she's a machine. That's what I'm getting from that. Geiger counter? No. Calm clock? Calm lock. Don't, oh, I don't. I don't, don't know. know. It seems like a very big key for a video game, though. So if we're gonna bump into another character, this is the character we're gonna bump into, <laughs> <laughs> because they are a computer face and not an actual face. I say cookbook, or maybe cockbook. Can't really tell. Are they all on the same thing? Yep, Rylo is all. Might be like a supplement for living on another planet. It might be like anti-radiation pills. Hmm. I think she may have been a religious person. So we've already been in Chris's room. So he's mm. their doctor. A doctor and an artist. Hey, look. Rylus. Ryle use. Worth noting that these are all full bottles. It's true. Shit. <sighs> Nausea during an electrical storm. Mm. Right, go up a little bit. I have a, uh, against my knowledge, I have implanted, been implanted with a device that affects my mind. Ah, uh, the other character said you're no longer in my head. Uh, I really want to like just go into all of this, but like we're running out of time. It'll be more difficult one-handed, but I must pers persevere. I'm hoping to keep this out of the eyes of Tom, but I have a feeling he will still be listening. Combined with us. Wait, perhaps a drug, Ryleusel. I need a method of suppressing its impact. Maybe an antidepressant to minimize conditioning. Combined with a strong electromagnetic field, mm -hmm. I could use one of the industrial electromagnetics from the construction robot. So, this guy has prescribed everyone Ryleusel to reduce the effects of whatever mental control oh. has been implanted in them. Bork? Hey, developer. <laughs> I am very curious about what's been going on. See, they sucked me in. <laughs> they did it. Morphine. So you know, play a good game. Uh, is there a label? This is it just an unlabeled glass bottle? Nope, there it is. <laughs> it just isn't loading the correct texture when you pick it up. <laughs> the larger texture. Yeah, it's morphine. I guess maybe he was trying to suppress it with morphine. Maybe. Maybe he had a, a pain thing. can't interact with anything. You just pick it up and turn it. It's a form of interaction. Solve the Rubik's Cube. Hey, buttons, can you, Did can it. you turn it? Oh. Solved it. That's a Switch watch for you. Still going. I could see, like, the Rubik's Cube being a cool component to, like, a, a puzzle. Like, you solve it and it opens up into, like, a key, and then the key goes somewhere else. That'd be neat. Like, it's like an Easter egg thing going on. Because we care. Because we care. This guy has two locks. Organism 1199. The plan to infect a human cell line 
and perform irradiation experiments with flow cytometry. Oh god. A lot of story here. I'm I mean, sorry, just jump everyone. to the end. Just jump to the end of the log. Fine, fine, fine. The plants are clear, exhibiting longer lifespans when exposed to the organism. We don't have the facilities to conduct testing. We're going on to human testing. Okay. That seems like a jump guy. We're going to be using ourselves as subjects. What? <laughs> Everyone's dead. There are many causes of death other than DNA damage. You found something that can make humans immortal. It would not save you from trauma, brain, dan brain damage, cardiac arrest, but it could potentially cure cancers and many genetic diseases. I guess yeah, that still doesn't explain why you would want to infect yourself. You've already been in this room. Yeah. Nope. Shit. Yep. Where was my room? I guess you lived on the ship. Ah, uh, that's a good point. We're also out of time. We made it to chapter two, though, as we ran out of time. <laughs> chapter two, two, two. So that was the first chapter of the Turing experiment. Turing test. Turing test. test. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, was it just called the Turing test? I can't remember. It's an interesting story, and I kind of want to see where it it, it Goes, leads. But yeah. it's kind of like the implication here, of course, is that you are the robot or uh, an AI or something. You're, you're going through these tests to see if you can convince yourself that you're human. But why? What's with this organism? What's with the testing of? Well, the that's what's organism? got me really, uh, really interested because we have the one. What are you pointing at? Oh, uh, the timer's going to go up in 10 seconds. Oh, it doesn't beep or anything anymore. Oh, okay. It's not my phone. <laughs> this just counts up. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, we have the whole AI beep, 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 element, beep. which I really enjoy. But we also have the weird, mysterious organism element. We have the dead crew. We have them performing experiments. Like, there's a lot of stories. They might not be dead. It's possible that they're not all dead. Because, again, one of them has a computer-generated face. And if someone's going to show <laughs> up, that's the one. And the so, thing did uh, say, oh, make things, make people immortal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they still have 18 ice cream sandwiches. I mean, that means someone's been eating ice cream sandwiches. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, like like I was saying before, this game is definitely a good game because it has me hooked. So, like, now I want to know more, and I'm also enjoying the gameplay element. It has the two halves of the whole of the good game. A good story, if it's going to have a story. And a good good gameplay element. So I'm I'm very very into this game. I'm probably gonna keep going. Gonna not be, right now. It's gonna be more dialogue if you walk into the room. It's not, <sighs> here. It's it's not, not safe. safe. Man, the space travel is not safe. I just want to end Since on Tom first space, incriminating himself a little more. The debate has raged over the value of man's space travel. You're just making people busy with the spinning. There is a large contingent of the ISA <laughs> that believes all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to say. There we go. There's more. <laughs> rather than human. More fuel for the. Uh, the Tom fire. That we are robots fire. Yeah. So that was uh, the Turing experiment. The first Turing chapter. test. Turing test. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Whatever game this was. My only real criticism is just you know going up ladders makes your head hurt. But maybe just because we also just played a game that. Yeah. Made we, our head hurts. We had a bunch Heads of motion hurt. sickness from the other game. Yeah, I'm I'm very pro this game. Like I'm actively interested to keep going, and now I want to start talking to Andrew about it because I know he's into this kind of discussion. So he might be into playing it. Well, Chris, fun. why don't you tell me uh, who made this game and how much does it cost on Steam uh, you, right now? You do love that element. Let's do it. Yeah, that, that I mean, someone's me. got to. All right, so the Turing test. Let's go to the store page here. Let's answer your questions. This game costs ten twenty dollars <laughs> apparently there's a dlc dlc and as for who made the game bulkhead interactive published by square enix of all people that's kind of strange it's not too strange they publish a lot of games okay they've also been doing well, a thing mind. with um like indie developers like pitch them an idea and if they like the idea and people vote for it then they take the idea and they uh they spearhead a Kickstarter campaign for it mm. to get funds, and then they they cover like the rest of the cost. So they've been they've been doing some things with taking indie ideas and making them into fairly polished games. So it's pretty uh, pretty neat. Only a seventy four on Metacritic. That's interesting. It is interesting. I I'm very into this game. I would think it'd be higher rated. Although it is very positive on Steam if you go by those. Yep. So uh, yeah, that was. Uh, that was the Turing test. All right. Check it out. Looks like a fun game, Chris. Thanks for having me uh, 
on board your show to look at no it. No problem. If you ever want to play it, obviously you can. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. All right. Goodbye. See you next time. Next time on Wheel of Steam. <laughs> <laughs>